Apostle Paul, while addressing the church in Corinth, wrote in chapter 2, verse 12, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. In this chapter, Paul compares wisdom of the world to wisdom that God gives us. And those in the early church, like some of us today, really struggle with leaning on, trusting in, and relying upon God's Spirit for direction, God's Spirit for discernment, and God's Spirit for encouragement. Paul's secret to walking in the power of God was not from the logic deduced from intellect, but divine in origin. He tells us in the beginning of this passage that he did not lean on excellent speech or some sort of calculated strategy of his own, but instead he proclaimed the wisdom of God, which is Christ Jesus and Him crucified. May I encourage you today as you face the struggles of life, as you wrestle with sin and press on to fight the good fight, may I encourage you to not lean on your own understanding, not lean on every source of media available, but instead look to Jesus, read God's word and allow God's spirit to give you direction while you navigate your employment, parent your children, love your spouse and reach the lost world around you. God's spirit will give you discernment. He will instruct you and give you the mind of Christ, which is a mind of humility and with it, great victory. Now let me leave you with Paul's quote of Isaiah chapter 64, verse four of our passage. I has not seen nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. The Lord loves each one of you so much. He's given you great promises to hold on to, and he has such an amazing plan for you. Love him, trust him, and seek him. <laughs>